What's going on everybody? Appreciate you guys being here today. You guys are here today because you want to find out which electronic predator call you want to purchase for yourself to be able to kill more coyotes, bobcat, fox, or any other predator that you might be hunting. Today I want to take a little bit of time just to try to explain the differences, the pros, the cons between Fox Pro and Lucky Duck electronic predator calls. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started, these are both my calls. I paid for these. Neither one of these were shipped to me for a product review. And then to follow up on that, I've been using the Fox Pro Fusion for close to three years now. Killed a lot of coyotes with this. And I've only been using the Lucky Duck Revolt for two, maybe three weeks now and have killed some coyotes with it as well. Just getting right into it, no explanation needed. You're gonna notice first off the size differences between the two. I'm gonna take this off so it can set flat, but you got the Revolt here and then the Fusion. You can see how much larger the Revolt is compared to the Fusion. Now that might bother some people. Yes, this is easier to carry around in the field, but this doesn't bother me at all, packing this in and out of the vehicle and getting set up on stand. And this is how I typically run mine. The Revolt comes with this small tripod. And the nice thing about this is you can use any tripod that you want because it just slides in this and holds in place magnetically. And what that allows the Revolt to do is one, get it elevated up off the ground. And then if you put a larger tripod on it, it's just gonna be even further elevated to be able to carry that distance a lot clearer, uh, less obstruction in the, in the front of the speaker system here. And on the Fusion, there's no way to mount by thread a tripod on the bottom of that. There are ways, of course, where you could jerry-rig some sort of tripod on this. I've never done it, and that, of course, is an option if you need to. But the nice thing about the Revolt and the built-in tripod is you can control with the remote full 360-degree rotation of the Revolt. So the sound, you know, will circle in full, sounding like maybe a rabbit in distress is kind of flopping around on the ground, uh, running around or whatever. And it just seems like it's projecting those calls every which direction. You can steer it left, right, or a full 360 degrees. We'll go ahead and talk about construction a little bit. And this is kind of hard to portray by video, but if you were sitting here with me and you picked up both of these, you would definitely say that the Fox Pro is better constructed. Just feels a lot more solid. And part of that I'm sure is because it's so much more compact. You know, it's just a more condensed version. Uh, but the Revolt, part of it just seems a little bit more cheaply made, I guess you would say. I know some previous versions, I think maybe it was called the Revolution. Uh, people were having problems with the uh, battery door falling off or I don't know if it was breaking or if it was just a loose fit but I have read some reviews online where people were complaining about that. I've had no problems with that whatsoever. It snaps in there very tight and I have no concerns. I don't think it's gonna fall off or break. But just the overall feel of it, it feels a little bit more cheaply made, I guess you would say. But to follow up with that, it's performed really well for me. This thing is super loud, super crisp. Um, the Revolution had a camera up here and what they've done with this one is they've taken the camera away and then they've added a tweeter speaker up here at the top. And that just really gives it a lot of clear, crisp sounds and really projects those sounds out there at a further distance. Now we'll kind of get into some of the features between the two. And I'm not gonna sit here and go through every single feature of these units. Uh, that would be a rather lengthy video, but I will just kind of highlight some of them. And then for each one, you can get online and just kind of read through some of the features and the specs between the two. But I'm just gonna go through some of my favorites, some of what's worked best for me. Some of the differences between the two, number one would be the decoys. So on the Fox Pro, you've got your battery door, your battery panel back here. You just unscrew that, and then you have to purchase this separately. This is the uh, jack decoy. So it's got its own thread system here, but this replaces the battery door. You just take this terminal here, and there's a spot inside next to the battery compartment where you just plug this in and then this sets flush and you can still control your decoy with the Fox Pro TX1000 remote, which is nice, but you have to add this on separately and you have to purchase this separately. 
And I'll be sure to put links to all this stuff down below so you guys can take a look at it there and see what you think. But the nice thing about the Revolt, scoot the Fusion out of the way here, is in the inside, this is just right on the back side of the carry handle. Got a nice compartment there with the rubber door where you can stuff your decoy inside. And this comes with the unit. And then on the top here, there's another door with a hole. Hopefully you guys can see that, but I'll make sure and get some close-up shots of this as well. But once again, this end is magnetized just like your tripod on the bottom. And you got a groove in there and that just slides right down and you can kind of feel it connect and magnetize in there. This comes with the unit whenever you purchase the call and then you can control the speed and you can control the on and off, of course, with your remote once you're on stand. So that's a nice built-in feature there. And one of the big selling points of the Revolt is the fact that you can control with the remote, like I mentioned, the fact that this will scan and portray that sound 360 degrees all the way around. But to kind of follow up with that for the Fox Pro, and one feature that I do use quite a bit is called the Fox Motion. On the Fox Pro, you'll notice it has its front speaker. And then on the back of this kind of mesh grid system, there's actually another built-in speaker back there. So if you've got this pointed this way at a wooded lot and you're sitting in a field, you can turn on Fox Motion and that takes it from only playing the front speaker, but it's gonna give it motion where it portrays from this speaker and then it will also portray from the back speaker as well. And that does a really good job of kind of making it sound like the animal is out in the field turning around, you know, more in distress, more injured, I guess you would say. But it does a really good job of just kind of mixing things up. It not only points it directly at where the call itself is setting, but it shoots it out the back. So it's gonna mix those in and it's gonna go front to back in, at different decibels, different pitches. Another thing I really like about the Fox Pro is Fox Bang. Uh, you can turn that on. So say you're sitting out and you call in a coyote, you end up calling in on prey distress, you know, rabbit distress, whatever it might be. You shoot the coyote and then with Fox Bang, just like that, automatically, it's gonna switch to pup distress, which is awesome. I found that to be really helpful and actually call in some coyotes that have ran away from the gunshot. They think, oh shoot, I better go back and help my buddy or figure out what the heck's going on. Come back and investigate and you get them back into range. That's automatic. You don't have to touch the remote, don't have to do anything at all to get that Fox Bang to come on and switch to Pup Distress. And with the Lucky Duck Revolt, uh, there is not a feature for that. And both calls on the outside, both of them on the right hand side, they do have uh, control systems to where you can use the calls without the remote. Uh, I've never used that on either one of them. I've always carried the remote with me and set these up. I do set the calls up fairly close to me at night, just so you get the attention from the predator that you're calling in coming right to you close to the call, so you can see the eyes and the reflection. But I've always, even in the daytime, I've always just used the remote. I've never found that I needed to set the call that close to me. I think it would be a hassle picking it up all the time and changing the call but that's an option there if you want to use it. The Revolt does have an option to where you can link, I think three or four other Revolts to one single remote. I will probably never use that feature. One, I can't afford to buy three or four other Revolts, but two, uh, it's just not a feature that I need to be able to utilize, but it's there if you guys want to use it. And then transferring sounds onto the call, I find that the Revolt is much easier to do so because on the back here, you'll find this black strip, which is a rubber, kind of like a door. Just raise that up. And in here, you can see at the top is an SD card. So you would just pop that SD card out and then you can put your sound files onto that SD card. Just slide that back in and you're good to go. With the Fox Pro, you have to program that through the uh, TX1000 remote which once you get used to it, it's okay and it's not too bad to get through, but it's definitely more cumbersome to download files to the Fox Pro compared to the Revolt, but both can be done. Both of these calls run off of AA batteries. The Fox Pro Fusion runs off of eight AA batteries and the Revolt runs off of 10 AA batteries. Both of these can take rechargeable battery packs. 
which they do not come that way. You have to buy them separately, but you do have that option for each call. Both of these, whenever you purchase it, comes with 100 preloaded calls, and the Fusion has the capability to hold up to 1,000 calls, and the Revolt has the option to hold up to 2,000 calls. Both of them, you can customize your folders, so on your remote, you can program or label your folders however you want to, and then put the calls in those separate folders, which is a nice feature for both. As far as specs and features go, the Fusion definitely beats the Revolt in that category. I don't think a lot of the specs or the features on the Fusion would apply to everybody, and they definitely don't apply to me. But you've got everything from Fox Pitch, Fox Bang, Fox Motion, Fox Data, and Fox Fusion. Fox Fusion's kind of cool because you can mix two sounds together. So, you know, a couple different howls, a pup distress and a howl, whatever it might be, but you can just mix those two together and it just incorporates two different calls together. The Fox Data is kind of cool because the remote, it does capture uh, barometric pressure, temperature, you know, time whenever you're on stand, exact amount of time that you were on stand. It's something that I kind of messed around with one time, uh, but I didn't really, it's not like I used it every single night and kept a big data log of different calls, different sets, things like that. But it's there for those that want to use it. Aside from the built-in decoy and the tripod with the rotation system uh, is a little bit more basic, but I think the sound clarity and volume goes to the Revolt. Um, to me, to my ears, I think the Revolt is clearer and louder than the Fusion. And when it gets down to it, that might be all that really matters. At the end of the day, we're out there just to kill predators. For me, it's mainly coyote hunting. Um, for you guys, whatever you're out there hunting, but that's the sole purpose is whatever it takes to call in those predators that we're hunting and get a good clear kill shot on those. And I think just sound clarity and overall volume might be the most important feature for any electronic predator call that you guys are looking to purchase. My purpose of this video today was not to sit here and pick one or the other. I think they're both awesome calls. Um, the Fusion's a little bit more expensive, but it has more built-in features. Uh, I'm not gonna sit here and steer you either direction. Just kinda wanted to give you an overview of the features and the specs between these two calls. Like I mentioned, I've killed a lot of coyotes with the Fusion, but I know I'm gonna kill a lot with the Lucky Duck Revolt as well. Been calling in a lot of bobcats, which I just have to sit there and look at them right now because Indiana still doesn't have a season on them, unfortunately. Hopefully that's coming soon. But for the short amount of time that I've been using this, I have called in quite a few coyotes already. Make sure you guys take a look at my coyote season videos. Uh, do have a playlist on those, just kind of running episodes of my coyote hunts, and I'll make sure and add an end screen and then a video card so you guys can take a look at that video series. And here's a comparison of the remotes for each call. Over here, you've got the Fox Pro TX1000. You can see it's a much larger remote. And then over here, you've got the Lucky Duck Revolt remote. Like I've stated, the Fox Pro remote has a lot more features bigger buttons here on the bottom and I'll show you a close-up view of this and here's kind of a closer up view of the remotes you can see how much bigger the buttons are and a little bit more spaced out here on the Fox Pro remote which might be an added benefit for cold hunts whenever you're wearing gloves it's gonna be a little bit easier to find those buttons without looking down at the remote every time the Fox Pro remote, it does have backlit buttons, whereas the Lucky Duck remote, it does not. But both of them have buttons on the sides for pre-programmed favorites, which I really like. Um, the Lucky Duck, as you can see here on the side, it does have buttons for your decoy, uh, spin, and then it does have the buttons for the rotation of the call itself. And then the Fox Pro, uh, the button for the decoy is down here in the middle. Between the two, uh, you can set the Lucky Duck call out much further away from you than you can the Fox Pro. The antenna system on the Lucky Duck is much better than the Fox Pro. Now I'm going to show you each remote as it turns on. This is the Fox Pro remote. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see that, but that's the read out there. I have a screen protector on this one that's scratched up a little bit, but the actual screen is not 
uh, but that's the daytime mode there and then each remote is nice because it has the daytime and nighttime and kind of a, a dusk to dawn I guess you would say but you can see here on the Fox Pro these buttons are backlit so that's a big plus over the Lucky Duck remote as those buttons are not but I haven't had any trouble at night even with the gloves on locating the correct buttons on the Lucky Duck uh, but this is nice if you need to go down and reference what button you're getting ready to push on the Fox Pro. And if you guys have any questions with this, don't hesitate to ask any questions down below. I'll try to get back to those as soon as I can. And now I'm going to take the batteries out of this and show you the Lucky Duck remote. One thing on this remote, I'll hit power. And then you can see the screen come on here. This takes a little bit of time for this to link up. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's gonna to search to see if there's any other calls connected to it down here at the bottom on this line. And that process takes just a little bit of time, whereas the Fox Pro just kind of fires right up. Not that big a deal, I just turn this on right as soon as I get to my set. And that way, the field has time to kind of die down, everything quiets down before I actually start calling anyway, so. Just something to keep in mind. But this one's just the same as the Fox Pro. It has daytime, nighttime, and then kind of a dusk to dawn type setting. That way the screen doesn't blast you out and cast a light on you whenever you're out there calling in the dark. I would probably give the upper hand to the Fox Pro as far as the remote goes. But I'm starting to learn this one pretty well. The buttons are a little bit tight together down here and they're not backlit. But that's not a deal killer to me. It's not like there's that many down here to memorize anyway. But once you get used to it, you don't even have to look down at it. I'm going to show you guys a quick demonstration of the sound differences between the two. Hopefully this external microphone will pick up on this okay. Alright, we'll do the Revolt first. And I'm going to try to pick a couple sounds from each one that are fairly similar. The first, I'm going to try to do some sort of rabbit distress, and then I'll compare some howls. This is the cotton ball on the Lucky Duck Revolt, level 4 right now. And that's only level 15, and it goes up to level 32. Now we're going to try some howls. I'm going to get every dog in the neighborhood fired up, so I'm going to try to keep this part short. And by dog, I mean domestic, not the kind of dogs that I like to call in. And then we're just going to do a male lone howl here. At level, we'll go level 12 on the Lucky Duck Revolt. One last quick demonstration. I'm going to go back to the cotton ball and show you the rotation on the revolt. Turn the volume down to level four. And with the remote, I hit scan. You can see there it just automatically scans back and forth and then you can turn it on to where it does 360 degrees.
And now I'm going to switch over to the Fox Pro Fusion on a similar sound level. I actually have to turn the Fusion up just a little bit louder. Uh, for the Fusion, this is a level 12. And that right there is a level 24. And this one goes up to 40. And now we'll go to Melhal, level 12. And I'm going to turn this up a little bit louder to level 27. Like I stated, I'm not going to sit here and pick which call is best for you because hunting conditions, hunting terrain can play a big role in what call you want to choose. Uh, if you're hunting in the woods, want to be a little bit more compact, keep it out of the brush. This one might be better for you. Uh, if you're hunting wide open terrain, big ag fields, or out west, and you want a lot more volume, you might want to take a look at the Revolt. But both of these are awesome calls for now. I'm going to continue to use the Revolt more than I am the Fusion. I've uh, been having a lot of success with it. Make sure you subscribe and hit that like button so you can see all the future content that I'm going to be putting out. I appreciate you guys watching. Happy hunting. Be safe. See you guys. Bye.